Hello and welcome to Getting Started with RAS. This video is purely to show you the stages of registering and contributing content to RAS. We'll assume you've already opened your web browser, you've added the URL, and we're on the home page. If you notice in the new RAS version, we have the ability to contribute or to register via social media. So you can choose one of your favorite ones if you prefer. But you can also register via an email of your choice. I'm going to use the registration button on the top right here and use an email of my choice. So you enter your first name, your last name. Make sure this is something sensible because this will be shown as the person who has contributed to RAS. An email address of your choice and choose and confirm a new password, then select the register button. RAS will then automatically send an email to that email address you've chosen saying you've registered. If you can't find it, have a look in your spam folder and make sure that RAS emails do not continue going to the spam. Okay, so now we've registered. Go to the login to contribute. My browser has been given permission to remember my email address and password. And obviously the social media options are available here. I'll select login. Right, now once you're onto this page, the extract title, make sure it's the actual title for the extract because this is what will appear on the website. So let's do an example on here. I'll select the level and the subject type. Now I've noticed on some browsers, and I've done this deliberately, there's a slight error that happens where it sometimes doesn't allow you to go onto the next button. But I found that refreshing the browser and just retyping it again quickly, there you go, that's the next button. You notice that each stage as we go through the submission process, this little navigation on the left changes. So let's go next. Okay, this is where you add the extract text. The right click options to paste text don't actually work in RAS at the moment. Uh, we'll be looking into that. So I would use the control C for copy and control V to take text in. So let's do this now as an example. Let's pull up some some fake Latin text. This isn't actually real, but we're just doing it for the purposes of this video. So I'll go control C for copy and then control V for paste. And you can see it's throwing the text trace in here. Now this is the reason why you can't do a right click. If I left click and hold with my mouse to select some text and then right click, this is where I can add the comments to say things that are important about that particular type of text. So let's click on add comment. We've got a guide to show you what all these different terms mean, but I'm gonna choose function. And I'll say that this particular piece of text is a descriptive thing, not an not analysis or evaluate, so describe. This is a descriptive text. Okay, notice the create button has appeared. And there you go, that's one comment that's been made and you can put as many comments in the text as you liked. It's really about showing the user why that text was important or how it could be improved. Okay, further down the page, you can add keywords and these keywords are associated with the discipline specific content of the actual text. Obviously you're limited to a thousand words and you can upload a full version in the uploads area later, which I'll touch on. There's a few useful little notes here about how you can use referencing. So please do have a look at those. Okay. So when you've done all of that and you're happy, you can move on to the next. Move on to reflection. If it's a tutor submitting on a student's behalf, it might be giving details of why that particular piece of writing was good or something. It's a little bit of context about it, really. Let's assume we've added some text in there. I'll click on the next button. See all these little check boxes are appearing here. Now, this is where you can add a document, which is actually the assignment. And you can also select to choose a file, which is obviously to add the brief. I'd recommend doing that because it obviously helps to give a much greater context to why those particular things have been used. I would also recommend using a PDF or personal document file format as this allows it to be visible on, on a number of different devices. Okay, let's assume we've uploaded those. Click on the next. In the terms section, make sure you've read the terms to submitting to RAS. If it is on somebody else's behalf, make sure you have the right consent and we've provided the form for you to do that. So I agree to the terms and of course do go ahead and submit because it won't be published until an editor has approved that particular piece of work. Thank you for contributing. We hope you enjoy RAS.